Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Carding with Chris. Today's video is going to be the Winter 3 final race. So if you saw my last race, um, you know that I finished in 6th. If you didn't see my last race, um, go watch it. I finished in 6th. So um, also if you saw my last race, you will know that um, I got a warning for warming up my tires. And that warning did not turn into a penalty, thankfully. But because of so many people trying to warm up their tires, they told us we get two warm-up laps now. So better than nothing, so we're going to take those two warm-up laps. I'm going to skip ahead because you probably don't want to see, you know, two boring warm-up laps. And I'll see you at the formation lap. So we're starting in sixth, again, starting on the outside, which is not good if we want to gain positions at the beginning. But we're going to try and do our best and not lose any positions. So we're gridding up. We're pushing number 605 in front of us. I uh, don't know who that is, but you know, we're just still going to push them. And we're looking for the green flag, and we're green, and we are good to go. So we are going down the into turn one again on the outside. Um, we see Colton right there, and number 65, giving the hand. We're going to dive on the inside of this person in the orange. Uh, I didn't get to see the cart number. They're still on our inside, going to three. Uh, there they are, and now we see Colin right there, number 177, going in the grass, getting forced around the chicane, and we're going to try and pass number 615, going into 7. We're going to dive on their inside, break a little later than them, and now we are right behind Colin. So, you know, we only lost one position as Colin is tapping his helmet, telling us, let's work together, let's stop fighting. So we only lost one position, you know, I guess... Gaining position would be better, but being in last is by far worse. So our tires aren't completely warmed up at this point. As you can see, Colin and I both going a little sideways through one, and then going through two, having to back off a lot. Can't even get anywhere near the apex. You can see Colin is slowly pulling away. I think he's a little better with cold tires than I am. But we're going to try and catch up to Colin, and there's a group of three directly in front of Colin, and we're going to try and you know, train up and catch up to that group of three and hopefully uh, secure a podium. So that's the aim, you know, podium would be good. Haven't gotten one of those yet, but um, if I get top five, I, I'd be satisfied. You know, any race top five, I'm satisfied. Podium would be nice though. I am dying to get a podium. But enough of that, you know, I kind of sound like a Ferrari driver, um, you know, complaining I don't get podiums. I am stupid. So we're on lap three. We're slowly inching towards Colin here. Through turn three is where I noticed I'd catch up to him the most. So going through the chicane here, um, sparks flying through the chicane, but we are inching closer to him. And then watch through turn seven. I break a little later, get on the gas a little earlier, and now we are within that slipstream range. Going through eight and nine here, this is where I noticed he would. Uh, slightly pull away from me but I took that nice and perfectly instead of passing him I'm gonna push him so going into one uh, lap four we are going to be pushing Colin and catch up to the group of three in front of us and he taps his helmet just to make sure I won't fight him so going through two backed off a little more than I should have but coming through three you can see I am a, a little bit faster through three and um, going through the chicane we're gonna push him down the straight and that's gonna make him faster and myself faster. So when you're behind someone, break a little earlier than you normally would. I think I broke a little too early there because he, he kind of pulled away. And then going through eight and nine, again, I think I backed off a little too much there and now I don't have a draft. So at this point, I'm kind of freaking out. I was like, oh crap, he's gonna, he's gonna catch up to the group of three up there and then he's gonna draft away from me. But um, Going through turn two here, again, he's slowly pulling away. But turn three, that's where we normally catch up to him. And that is exactly what happened. So luckily, our worst nightmare did not become reality. And we are right back into his slipstream. And hopefully, we can catch up to that group of three up ahead. As you can see, me accelerate all crap ton. That's what the power of the slipstream does for you. Going through eight and nine, again, trying not to screw things up. And um, it looks like 
uh, we mess up a tiny bit, but not anything significant, as we have now caught up to the group of three, and we are now in a train of five. So Call and I working together is really benef we both benefited from this because now we all have a shot at third place. That's right, the guy in front of this group of five is the guy in third. So a shot at third is in hand. So Colton, the guy in fourth right now, he's looking for the move going into seven, and he dives on the inside of the guy in third, so he's in third now. I jump up to six temporarily, and then this guy in front of us, he braked a little more than I thought he would, and now I go back down to seventh. Um, I thought Colin was going to try and uh, pass this guy, that's why I didn't stay behind him, but uh, now third and fourth have slowly pulled away from us, and now um, the guy in fifth is the guy Colin and I are going to try and pass. So going through turn three here, we can see that Colin is right on his bumper, and then coming out of the corners, um, the guy in fifth uh, just pulls away. So I don't know um, if he has a higher sprocket, that could be why he's pulling away out of the corners. But going through eight and nine up here, we're gonna see um, us catch up to the guy in fifth. Uh, I'm just gonna call him the guy. I don't really know his name. And if you are watching this and this is you, I do apologize, I'm not trying to make fun of you or anything. So this is something we gotta note. Um, he is faster coming out of the corners, but going into the corners and mid-corner, we are a tad bit faster. So Colin dives on the inside into three. Um, it was a bit of a late move, uh, so it would have never worked. And now the guy is slowly pulling away because, I mean, I don't know for sure, but it kind of it kind of looks like he's got a um, higher tooth sprocket. Higher tooth sprocket? Is that the right wording? I don't know. So coming out of 8 and 9 here, I've seen Colin do a bunch of moves on this guy, and so I decide to pass Colin, I s tap my helmet, I say, let me have a shot at it, uh, let me try and pass this guy, because I've analyzed um, s sitting back behind, seeing what Colin has been doing, what has worked, and what hasn't worked. And so what I'm going to try and do is pass him through 8 and 9, because that's where we n I noticed he would slow down a little more than I would. So that's where the move's going to happen. Not on this lap. You can see he's way far ahead. He's pulled away because I passed Colin and that caused us to slow down. So um, next time around, we're going to try and pass him through these corners right here. Because you can see right now, we caught up through eight and nine. So those are the corners we're going to try and pass him through. And hopefully, we get the job done. So as you can see right now, the guys in third and fourth have pulled away because of all this fighting. So we're going to try and get past this guy um, sooner rather than later. Um, I'm not calling him bad. He's not bad. He's driving pretty well. But um, he's a little more off pace than I and Colin are. So best case scenario, we get by him. And if he wants to, he can draft off of Colin and I and we can pull him along. So going through seven here, we're, we're going to pause it right here. I'm just going to give you a warning. This is going to be um, explicit content. It's going to be very dirty. So if you're underaged, please skip ahead 10 seconds. So going through turn 8 and 9 here, I'm going to do the dive bomb of the century. And it was a bit of a dirty move. I mean, I am not happy with that. So um, it didn't work. Um, if you're joining us now because you skipped ahead, thank you. And if you did watch it, please go take a shower because that was absolutely filthy. Um, so I, you know, didn't want to have to do that move and I, I regret doing it, but everyone is, uh, still racing and in contact. Uh, but now I am down to seventh place and Colin is in sixth. So we know the move through eight and nine isn't going to work. So we got to try somewhere else. Um, we're going to stay behind Colin, analyze the situation a little better and move on from there. So Colin going sideways through eight and nine. Um, I think he braked a little uh, earlier than Colin wanted to. So push Colin down the straight. Uh, going through turn one, we're going to catch up to him. And then going through turn two up here, Colin's going to go for the dive bomb through two. Um, I'm going to try and follow him, but I wasn't close enough to Colin. And uh, the guy 
got me through three, and Colin is now pulling away. And I backed off through the chicane, and they both pulled away from me. So it's looking like I got the worst end of this deal, but Colin showed me that the move through two is where it's at. So um, if I ever do catch up to these guys, um, we're gonna try and pass them through turn two. But going through turn one up here, Colin's going very defensive, a little too defensive, and the guy gets past him going out of turn one and on the inside of turn two. And now we are back where we started, I've caught up, but Colin and I both know that turn two is probably gonna be uh, the most reasonable spot to pass. So we're gonna go through the chicane, we're gonna try and complete another lap and see if we can make turn two work again. So coming out of turn seven and going through eight and nine up here, we're about to finish our um, fourth to last lap and enter the third to last lap. So we're looking ahead, it's looking like the shot for fourth is out of the equation. So this is gonna be a full on battle to the fifth. So going through one here, we're still too far behind Colin. Colin's going for the move through two and I follow Colin and it looks like we made it work. Colin goes semi-defensive into three and now I'm right on Colin's bumper and we have both made it through um, and passed the, the guy. So Colin's going defensive. He, he does not want anyone in front of him. And then going through seven up here, um, I don't have the backwards camera because it ran out of batteries at the beginning of the race, but the guy, uh, he locked up his tires and um, I think he spun out. So now it's just Colin and I for the battle of fifth. There's no one behind me, so we're just gonna focus on each other. Last two laps, he goes offensive and we're gonna try and pass him whenever the opportunity arrives. So all the um, passing through specific corners doesn't apply to Colin because he's a little faster, but if you remember from before, we know that we're faster through three. As you can see, we've caught up a little there. And I have, you know, multiple practice sessions with Colin. He's been in a lot of videos. So I kind of know his driving style. And I know that whatever move I, I do, he'll give me space. So going through eight and nine here, we're going to try and get as close to Colin as possible, draft off of him, and see if we can get one, a move through one. He's going very defensive. We're gonna push him very narrow, make sure he gets uh, no room or barely any room to race. We're gonna dive on the inside for turn two, get the quick over under. And um, now we are in fifth place. And going through three, again, we gotta make sure we nail this. And now he is behind me and he has a draft. So going through the chicane here, I looked behind me and he wasn't close enough to go for a move through seven. So I didn't go defensive. So we're gonna take the normal racing line. We're gonna try and make this lap as perfect as possible. Make sure he can't pass me. Going through eight, nine, we know he's a tad bit faster through there. Again, um, I look behind me. I see he's there and I'm gonna go all the way to the left side to make sure he doesn't get the inside. Going cross start finish line, we have finished in fifth place. So that was a really good race at the last couple of laps. Um, good racing from Colin and good racing from the guy. Um, so that's all I have for today. Uh, I finished in fifth, you know, I'm happy with that. If you liked the video, please subscribe. And if you have any questions, suggestions, or opinions, please comment below. Thank you guys for watching and have a good day.